Hey there guys, this is Ashmer and today I'm here with gameplay footage from Battlefield 5 Open Beta. So as you know that the game was launched just a few days ago, it does have a few bugs and uh, errors but it's a great, great game to play. But as I start off with the game, I'd like to tell you guys that I'm on the low specs right now, that is I'm equipped with an i5 third generation plus uh, 1050 Ti OC edition graphics card and uh, 8 gigs of RAM, 600 megahertz. So let's see how Battlefield 5 Open Beta runs on this PC. So I've started the game. Yeah, there is, I think there is a bit of uh, frame losses in the between, skipping some frames. Okay, yeah, open. So as the line at the bottom of the name of the game says that there might be unexpected stuff happening like uh, crashes, maybe things uh, going wrong. Okay, I think my PC is handling the game quite good. And you can see that the game is quite optimized, uh, or I won't say quite optimized, it's very op optimized for uh, let's say doing PCs too. So obviously if you are using a uh, processor from 2 to 3 years back, you can definitely play this game on that. Let's check out the options. Yeah, well... There is a lot of customizing options. That's really good. If the op the audio modes can be changed. The switches are very good, the switches are nice. Do you want to do radio or what what happened? There's a massive thing for it. Okay, okay. Let's say I'm in uh, upper medium graphics settings. But yeah, you can see that I'm in medium graphic settings. I also use DirectX 12 on the game, of course. The menus have built pretty well. I'm really happy with the background video that's seeing right now. Okay, let's play it. Multiple Let's see how many options are there in the multiple shop. Tools, plan operations, points. Kill 15 enemies. This is the first time I'm playing this game. Of course, I won't be able to kill 15 enemies at first, but I'll do my best.
I just hope the game doesn't crash when uh, it starts. It's gonna keep me waiting. Sure. It's really good that uh, Battlefield 5 was shown to us at the open beta stage. It's really nice that we're going to play the game for free so that people who are playing in you know, lower specs or lower setups they can get to understand if it would be good if they uh, subscribe the premium packs later. So for me, if the premium packs come out, I'm definitely gonna take the subscription. I have to take it because I, I, I think I'm gonna love the game. I really feel that. So when, when it, when is it gonna start? Okay, I'm close. I'm close. I can't wait, you know. I've been waiting for this game for a long time back. Ever since RDX got released and the uh, gameplay footage got released. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's really nice. Tides of white. Special assignments. I, I wonder what my special assignments are going to be. Yeah. That's a nice picture. Man. That's a nice scenery. What a damn compass. But given the fact that I'm running a 1050 Ti OC with the processor, that's why I am not facing too much of pressure. Uh, but for gamers who have comparatively a weaker graphics card, or rather, I'd say like something called uh, something around the GT and not the GTX, then. I just recommend you guys to upgrade your graphics card for a better experience. If you can't buy a new one, then go for a, uh, go for a second hand. Second hand ones are not bad. I tested some second hand uh, ones out and I've, I've been happy with those. Yeah, the graphics is very neat. There is a bit of loss on the frame. It's not much of an issue. The game is giving me an FPS of minimum 40. We have taken objective objective Baker. Uh, maximum amount of stand it's sticking around 50, 55. 60, it's okay. I just missed a bit of frames right there. But okay, yeah, another. No frames. That's not good. We have put down the first of their soldiers. You see that that tank firing bullets that that looks looks really nice. Very nice. Very, 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 oh 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 god oh god oh damn. Again, I need to wait for respawn. This is a really beautiful game, I gotta say that. Whoa. I'm getting realistic focus. The voice roll.
Well, I guess we almost got one. Oh, oh, that is the oh god. I died again. That's really bad. But this is my first time, so... I really like the game. This is pretty neat, pretty... Uh, let's say the graphics is really good. There's not too much of reasoning or unnecessary stuff. There. It's not there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. We have taken objective Charlie. The best part of the game is that you get to drive the tanks. That's really good. Oh, 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 god, god. I was looking at the sky, man. Look at the sky. The sky looks so realistic. Look at the sun. God. It really looks beautiful. It's giving me immersive experience like or it, let's say it's close to immersive experience and so obviously if I get an RTX on my rig then well, everything is gonna get real in front of my eyes time to spawn again Sunlight is really good. Physics is really good. Physics is really good. Look at this car, it's the car from the car of the Sunday Rocky. I don't know much, I don't have much knowledge about cars, but the cars look good too. In most games you would see that uh, only the things that are related to what we are doing those have good graphics and the rest of the stuff they are just filled with you know craziness and emptiness but here in the game every single layer every single part is filled with so much of definition. Respawn over. What's up? We have lost objective Charlie. Okay, I guess I got stuff with the respawn. Well done, yeah, I guess I, guess I got stuff with the respawn. It's stuck in nine. That's really sad. I want to keep playing this game. But anyways, guys, as we know that i5 and i7 all well, uh, all third generation. Processors are pretty weak and let's say even weaker than some of their second generation or first generation counterparts. So, if you have an old processor, but if you have a, you know, let's say a decent graphics card, maybe at least I'd say GT 1050 Ti, uh, then you are good to run this game on it. It's probably gonna run smooth. Uh, my temperature is peaking the 60 degrees Celsius mark on my CPU, and my graphics card is going up to 50 degrees Celsius on the screen. So I'd say it's pretty okay ish. You guys may think that 60 degrees Celsius on the CPU is not a good thing, but as I say, that third generation processors are not up to the mark so if you put some pressure on that obviously they give you a bit of problems and you know, temperatures may rise but fret not everything is fine 60 degrees okay for processor it would have been alarming if 
it could have crossed 75 degrees I'd say that's that's too high that's too high it's close to the boiling point so thank you guys for watching the video I hope you liked it and I'll be back in a few days with uh, more gaming videos and streams so till then stay tuned and have a good time